fellow foodies, welcome back to your most amazing top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we're discussing the top 10 discontinued fast food items that we all miss, like really badly. Part 4. I hope you guys are hungry because this video is fully loaded. Coming in at number 10, we have Burger King Satis Fries. Satis Fries were a lower calorie french fry, or chips as my fellow Brits would say, and these were delicious and crinkle cut. I love me a crinkle cut. I also very much enjoy the word crinkle. Crinkle. For some reason, the Satis Fries were not satisfying to customers who dubbed them the saddest fries. Sadly, they were discontinued in 2014. Coming in at number 9, this next offering from Burger King, I would have been all over. It is the Burger King Enormous Omelette Sandwich. Burger King has kind of struggled to compete with McDonald's when it comes to breakfasts. The Enormous Omelette was released in 2005 in a bid to gain footfall from the early morning crowd. Kind of sadly, it had a whopping 47 grams of fat, and the sandwich was a huge omelette in a bun with sausage patties and cheese. They were really actually kind of playing fast and loose with the definition of omelette though, it was more like your classic fast food solid scrambled egg, which I think is kind of gross. High in fat, low in customer satisfaction, this baby was eventually axed. Coming in at number 8, we have the Volcano Taco from Taco Bell. Due to the success of the Dorito Locos Taco, the Volcano Taco was axed. The taco was released in 2008 and was served in a fiery red taco shell and was stuffed with beef, lettuce and lava sauce. This was like a spicy nacho cheese. Ultimately, the fiery Dorito version managed to usurp the Golden Oldie in 2013. Burger King tacos are coming in at number 7. Wait. What? Burger King tacos? Since when? In 2010, Burger King introduced tacos at some participating locations. They actually had already done this back in the early noughties and they came back with a bang in 2010. I'm even hearing whisperings of some locations offering them now, although this definitely is not a regular menu item. I for one am kind of baffled by the prospect of the king of burgers making tacos. I mean, stick to the day job. A sweet treat at number 6, we have the Starbucks Chantico. The what? Sorry? Guys, Starbucks used to have a drinkable dessert and it was a huge failure. It was also like a tiny bit gross. The Chantico was a liquid chocolate drink that was sure to make you feel sick if you drank it all. It seems like the kind of chocolate that you would dip churros in, except there were no churros, just liquid chocolate and a whole load of phlegm. <sighs> To number 5, we have Wendy's Fresh Stuff Pitters. In 1997, Wendy's pioneered a healthier eating menu with their Fresh Stuff Pitters. They had three variants Chicken Caesar, Classic Greek, and Garden Veggie. And not only were they healthier than a burger, they were cheaper. After around three years on the menu, the pitter was sadly discontinued, which upset many people. Although McDonald's and other chains have snack wraps, I'm told that the Wendy's pitter was much better. Coming in at number 4, we have the Burger King Pumpkin Burger. I mean, you gotta get on that pumpkin flavour train, I mean you just do. Now this baby came out in Japan and had a sauce made with almonds, cashews, hazelnuts and peanuts. These nuts! I'm such a geek. It sounds delicious. Fans could also order the pumpkin bomb, which was 10 extra slices of pumpkin, which I don't know, is that too much pumpkin? My Japanese friends tell me that this burger is no more, and sadly, it never spread across the rest of the world. Coming in at number 3, we have Wendy's Super Bar. As far as I'm aware, we don't have any Wendy's in the UK, but my North American friends love a bit of Wendy's and often hark back to the Super Bar era. This was a time when Wendy's had a cultural food buffet with delights from Mexico and and Italy. They also had really big selections of salads, so cool. The Super Bar allowed you to load as much onto your plate as you wanted for just $2.99. Sadly for some, it is no more. Coming in at number 2, we have the McDonald's Hot Mustard Sauce. Not quite as in demand as the Szechuan sauce, but a lot of people are pretty devastated that McDonald's no longer serves up its hot mustard sauce. I have to say though guys, there is a Facebook fan page for the sauce, but sadly the fast food giants didn't listen. They began discontinuing continuing it between 2012 and 2014. These days you'll be hard pushed to find a place that serves it. The sauce is perfect for dipping chicken in, but was removed, and I quote, because of its slow moving performance. Boo. Finally at number 1, remember when McDonald's were trying to be super classy? If so, you'll remember the Angus Burger. In 2013, McDonald's discontinued the Angus Burger, which had been one of the company's priciest burgers since it was introduced in 2009. The move came basically because the fast food industry was beginning to suffer and they wanted to play up the value of their dollar menu to fend off competitors. This is kind of a full on reversal as to why the product was introduced in the first place. At the time, they thought that a class option 
with better cuts of beef would really be beneficial to their brand. It was just too expensive though. So there we have it. Food glorious food, hot mustard sauce and Aberdeen Angus. Sadly none of these things can be found anymore. Are you upset? What would you like to eat most from this menu? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now I'm Rebecca Felgate, I love cheese, always. Just always actually. Make sure you give this video a good thumbs up, share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more top 10s, some of which will be about food and I love it. See you next time.